guys, people get started on a weight loss fitness journey and what tends to happen is people are so pumped and so ready to go that they jump into it 100% and then they die out super quickly and they fall back into their old routines. And I wanted to talk about that in this topic, in this video. I wanted to kind of go over clean eating meal substitutes because in my opinion, if you kind of slowly bring things into your life and slowly change your lifestyle, you are more likely to stick with it. And little small changes, nothing huge, like little changes that can make a big difference in weight loss. So I'm going to jump right into it. I have notes here so that I, you know, kind of touch base on everything. So let's start with rice. This one is easy. White rice, bad. White rice, no. Some people say rice is bad all together as a whole. However, one simple thing you could do is instead of having white rice, have brown rice. The only difference is they taste a little different. In my opinion, brown rice tastes more natural. It tastes more appealing to me. White rice tastes very preserved and fake. Um, and brown rice takes longer to cook, but substitute anything that you would, you know, use white rice and use brown rice instead. If you want to get rid of rice completely, use quinoa. That is an excellent source of protein and it is much better than rice anyways. Secondly, drinks. Make your own juices. Don't buy the juices at the store, um, except for I buy naked juice for my kids. That's what I use. I mix, you know, three-fourths cup of water and then I add the naked juice for their drink. Um, also, if you are a soda drinker, I am not. I do not like the taste of soda. However, I can relate with soda drinkers because I would drink soda every once in a while because of the burn in the back of the throat. And in doing my research, I have learned that a lot of people do that as well. So one alternative to that is drinking bubbly water or getting one of those soda making machines and make your own soda water. And then also, um, you know, like I said, make your own drinks. I am going to be doing, my husband is in Nicaragua and his country, they do a lot of homemade juices. So I'm going to try to make videos on that. And then also I'm going to try to be doing some videos on juicing. So comment down below if you're interested in that. Cereals. Stay away from sugar stuff. Stay away from anything that would be appealing to a child, basically. If it has marshmallows in it, stay away from it. If the cereal has a bunch of colors, Stay away from it. Eat Cheerios. I mean, that's as basic as it gets. So get away from those, you know, yucky, sugary junk and move over to something as simple as Cheerios. And add stevia if you need to sweeten it up a bit or add strawberries or eat it with almond milk. Anything that you could do to kind of get that sweetness out of it, but naturally, not with all the junk. Yogurts. You really need to be careful with yogurts because so many companies market their yogurts as healthy, but when you look at the back, you'll see, you know, sugar content, fat content, salt content. It's not good. It doesn't have things that are good for you. So stick to green Greek yogurt. Stick to all natural plain Greek yogurt. Add things like stevia or agave or fruit. That is a really great sweet treat when you are craving something sweet. Breads pretty easy again instead of drinking or instead of drinking instead of eating processed white crap get whole wheat options I think there's actually a bread called Ezekiel which is a really really good brand of bread so if you can find that definitely do that but one small change I know when I was a child I hated wheat bread you would have never seen me eat wheat bread and now you'll never see me touch white bread because there's no point to have a completely unnatural option when you can have something that is slightly beneficial to you. Again, another small change, nothing huge. These are things that you can do every day to make small changes to make big results. Salt content. You want to make sure that things have a low sodium content because the higher up in salt you get, the more your body is going to retain water and then it also it's just not good for the body it's not good for the heart it's not good for your organs it's not good for your skin it's not good for anything if you have to eat salt use Himalayan salt it's pink Himalayan salt it's good for you and you can find it at any like natural food store stevia rather than sugar I try to stay away from sugar as much as possible I don't buy anything sugary for my children. Um, 
And if I'm baking, I will find another way to sweeten it rather than using sugar. I use stevia a whole lot. You can buy individual packets of stevia that you can use in coffee and yogurts and food. Or you could buy a big bag of baking stevia that you can put in any of your treats that you would put sugar in. Whole wheat pretzels over chips. Um, if you really, 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 really have to, get whole wheat pretzels with salt. That way you can get that little bit of salt that you um, wanted in a chip. But whole wheat pretzels are much healthier options over chips. And a lot of times eating chips is just kind of out of habit. We're sitting at the TV, we want to eat something, so we grab a convenient bag of chips. Do the same with pretzels and you're making a big difference. And you are taking in much less calories and better calories. And then the last one I have... Um, if you need a movie treat, air popped popcorn, you can buy them in all sorts of, you can buy them in like pre-made little bags that pop up, um, like little buckets I mean, you can buy them in bags, you can buy them already in like, so, like bags that are already, you know, manufactured and take it and go, um, but air popped popcorn is better than the crap that you get in a box that has butter or has olive oil or salt or whatever they are claiming is good for you. Little things, that's that's the things that I'm going to give you today. Maybe we could talk about more later, but it's little changes that you can make every day in your life to have a big impact. Like, how hard is it to switch out white rice with brown rice? How hard is it to switch out white bread from brown bread? These are things that you can keep with every single day that you can stick with that aren't going to overwhelm you. So I hope this helps you and gives you some ideas, and I hope... This helps to inspire you to eat a cleaner diet and not be overwhelmed by it. And I will see you guys later. Bye!